Okay, so I'm going to be discussing uh, a little more stuff here, uh, not as much as I did in the last video, but there has been new screenshots, um, there's been a lot of new stuff that was just shown like, like right after I finished recording the video that I did, all this shit just popped up. Um, new story mode shots between Kazuya and Jin fighting in New York. Kazuya talking shit here, and Kazuya making a creepy ass fucking face in the Unreal Engine 5, and then we have Jin getting ready to whoop ass, but then get his ass kicked. And then in this shot, again, Jin's being badass before he gets his ass kicked. Really cool shot though, not gonna lie. If you did not watch me discuss the Tekken 8 story, please watch my previous video where I do so. I think it's obvious it's the first boss battle we'll have to play is Jin fighting Kazuya in the city. That's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun to have Kazuya's AI just whip the fucking shit out of us, you know? And imagine getting all those busted moves that he has now done to you in the story boat by Kazuya. I don't know about you, but I'm not looking forward to the Kazuya AI hitting me with the fucking petrocide fist. Alright, now let's talk about customization mode because, oh my god, look at all these options. Look at all the stuff that my boy can wear. You can make him Freddy Krueger, you can make him Goro Majima. Like, wow, this is sick. You got eight, you got eight options here. You got head, full face, glasses, entire body, upper body, lower body, shoes, and unique. Which is very interesting to me. The shoes finally get their own section rather than just being part of the lower body. Ugh. That is awesome. Yes. Now I can make Kazuya rock his Tekken 1 sneakers. Tekken taking a hint from Soul Calibur's customization system. Which is awesome. Because now you can just put it on in any way you want. Rotate it any way you want. Move it around any way you want. It's, it's cool. This is great. This is the kind of customization we needed in Tekken 7, but due to the limited budget, it could not happen, which I don't blame them for. This is innovative. This is way better than what we had before. Like, there's so many options here, and it's not just generic t-shirt after generic t-shirt after generic t-shirt. Like, this, each design here has their own, like, flair to it. This is what we've been missing. June made me wear this. You can give Kazuya claws like he's Wolverine or Freddy Krueger. Like, the, <laughs> this looks like Logan. Wolverine. Like, <laughs> this is... Oh my god. The amount of options, the amount of possibilities. Tekken 6's customization as well as Tag 2's will always be goaded. But this is really innovative and I'm loving it so far. One thing I hope to see, and I did ask this to Harada, and he responded, you know, how to put, like, make the older costumes into the modern technology. Like, I do want to see the, like, classic costumes from each character come back. Not all of them, but a good handful of them. Like, you know, Kazuya's Tekken 2 tuxedo, and, like, Jin's Tekken 3 jacket, a schoolboy outfit. You know, Kazuya's, uh, Tekken Blood Vengeance, uh, you know, Jack's come back. All that stuff. For those who are into this kind of stuff, you can give Kazuya eyeliner now, so kudos to you. All in all, customization mode looks awesome. Would like, you know, the inclusion of decals to come back, as well as more classic outfits to choose from from the past games. I think that'd be slick. And yeah, that's, that's it for customization mode for me right now. It's miles better than Tekken 7's, and I cannot wait to play around. Oh, jukebox mode. Oh, how I've missed you so. Jukebox mode was a PlayStation-only exclusive feature in Tekken 7, which allowed you to customize all the primary game soundtracks with the days of old. And knowing me, I would love to just do that. But... Before I do that, I want to, you know, listen to all the Tekken 8 tracks for myself and decide which ones need to stay and which ones I could change. Um, I know one thing's for certain though, that Tekken 5 main menu theme is going to be my main menu theme <laughs> for the game. I hope they bring certain tracks that they didn't have in Tekken 7's jukebox mode in as well, like um, the, the Ground Zero Funk, for one. Probably the most badass battle track from, you know, Tekken 5. 
and uh, Snoop Dogg's Tag 2 uh, song, <laughs> you get ready for the next battle. So that red stage is called the Arena Underground. That red one that we saw with the uh, shots with Dragonoff and stuff, yeah. And here we have Arcade Quest. This place, like I said in the last video, gave me a fucking heart attack and jumped me out of my seat because this looks insane. It's just like, of course, the Battle Hub in Street Fighter 6, but, you know, it, it's, it's its own thing and it looks really fun. You get your own little cute Xbox 360 type avatar, dress them up in any way you want. In my case, I'm dressing up as Kazuya Mishima on day one. But in any way, it looks really fun. And it's a great answer, again, to Street Fighter 6's Battle Hub. Because I knew they were going to do something like this. Me and my girlfriend were talking about it months prior that Tekken 8 would do something like this. And they did. Arcade Quest is going to be fun for especially those like myself who didn't get the chance to play Tekken games in the arcades. And overall get that real arcade experience of like traveling to arcade to arcade to arcade and doing like quests as the game progresses. So I was looking really deep into this screenshot as well as the other ones that were posted by Yellow Motion, which is a lot where a lot of these screenshots are from. And I noticed there are four cabinets in the background. One of them is definitely Galaga and the other two I do not know for some reason. I hope, and I said this in the last video, I hope to God we get to play the classic Tekken titles in arcade form. Tekken 1, Tekken 2, Tekken 3, Tag maybe, and 4. Along with the course, hopefully they add a Pac-Man machine in there somewhere, because you can't have a Bondi Namco arcade you know, experience without Pac-Man, for God's sake. You'll of course be able to fight players in the arcade, as similar to Street Fighter 6. Hopefully these classic cabinets will also be able to be played online. Because Street Fighter 6 did that too. It seems you can also progress your character's rank as you go through the arcade quest mode. Which I think is a really nice touch. I wonder what they're playing over there. Tekken 8 has a tutorial mode which also has some guy going The heat is on! Amazing! Great! That's gonna be fun to hear. This will also be very beginner friendly, I hope, and helps my friends who don't know how to play Tekken or are just getting into it finally understand what makes Tekken Tekken. Thank God the game is teaching them now, and you don't have to do it yourself. <laughs> and that's really all there is to it. I really hope there's more single player content in the game, like of course Tekken Bowl, Tekken Force, Team Battle, all this great stuff. And I hope it's all in there. And if it's not all in there, at least, you know, we'll have a good chunk of single player content to enjoy ourselves with, with Tekken 8. I think they're holding back on us with the single player content right now but I cannot wait to see what else they have in store.